time to set the rafters. Now these rafters come in five pieces. What we did was just laid them out on the ground and uh, used a, what's called a tech screw, which is a self-tapping metal screw to fasten part one to part two, part two to part three, and they're, they're more or less tacked in place. And they're also very tight fit, so they, they want to stay together. Huh. Setting these rafters up was tough. This is a big rafter. It's 30 feet across at the base, and it's over 12 feet high in the middle. What we had to do, we, had, we set up scaffolding in the middle here. staying at each end to guide it into the foundation hole and the person on the scaffolding pulled up at the same time the person on the ground lifted it up and he raised the rafter to a vertical position. So it took four people working close together to uh, raise each rafter. Now one tricky thing uh, Unfortunately, we had experience in house construction, and rafter setting, especially large trusses, can be very dangerous. And it's, it's the erection of the trusses that's, that's actually a pretty dangerous part, and I think the instructions are pretty clear on that, too. As you're, as you're bringing this truss up into the air, the person on the scaffolding is pulling it up. Well, there comes a point where it comes up in the air where its center of gravity wants to go toward the person on the scaffolding. And it could knock them off the scaffolding and uh, that would cause problems. So the person on the ground here that lifts it up also has a rope. And when that truss starts to stand up like that, you've got tension of the rope for the guy standing on the ground to keep it from flipping. And you got the guy up on the, up on the scaffolding pulling it up. And you got one person on either end, on the ground, putting it in the hole. Now once it's in the hole, on either side, then they bolted the hole, and it was fairly stable then. It still could, it could still come over, but it's fairly stable. It's just barely hold. It's not braced yet. So what the instructions are very clear about doing is the very end rafter, the very first one you put up, we had to take long two by fours and stakes, and we had to create a TP type frame, holding the rafter up in the air. And that did two things. One, it was a safety thing to keep it from blowing over somehow. And the other is we plumbed the very first rafter. As we made it vertical. And we did that again using old geometry techniques. Just tie a string to the top of the rafter, take something heavy, a plumb bob, as it's called in the industry, drop it to the ground, run a string between the two base legs, and you, you move that truss back and forth this way until that plumb bob is vertical. When it is, you set your braces up, little triangles, and we use screw guns and long wood screws and wood and stakes in the ground, and we braced those end rafters, and we kept those end rafters braced until the whole thing was up and assembled and was in the next step, which is the purlins were put in place, which started to stiffen it up. 
So one rafter at a time, 19 rafters went up. And each one, as it went up, we braced it with a purling.